This is Jack from tofluency.com. We are now live here on YouTube on Christmas Day. So welcome to this English lesson. This is very spontaneous. I wasn't going to plan to do this. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I thought everyone's napping inside. My wife is napping. My son was napping because he just woke up. My dad's napping. My sister's making some lunch. So I decided to come outside and to give you guys a lesson here on Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas to you. Saxter is here. Mod is here as well. We've got other people joining just now. So welcome if you are here. Hello from Russia. Amin is here. Diana is here as well. I'm going to bring up the comment section here. If you are new to this channel, if you're new to this YouTube channel and you want to learn English, then you are in the right place. Okay, you are in the right place. I help English learners learn English in a natural way, in a way that's fun and engaging. And I'm going to tell some stories today about what we've been doing, present perfect continuous, what we've been doing over the past couple of days. And someone mentioned on the video, they said that they really like when I do this, when I tell a story and I have all the different things in there for you, the vocabulary, the phrases, those types of things. So I'll bring those on the screen. You can see all the comments over here. These are people who are watching live. So many people, Oleg is here, Bali, we've got Sebastian, um, we've got Danilo as well from Brazil. Lulu is here too, great to have you. A bunch of people watching from Brazil. Bali says, this is my first time to chat with you. Well, welcome to you. It's great to have you here. It's really good to have you here. Um, if you are watching live, let me know about the quality. Let me know if the audio and the, the audio and the video are matched together. It, Utam says, I'm very happy to join with you for the first time. I hope you'll respond to me. Well, I just have done. There you go. Rafa is from P Peru. Aliu is from Western Sahara. Miso is here. Andrea from Mexico as well. So, yeah, what we're going to do in this lesson, as you see, yeah, we have it here. I just need to make a couple of changes. I've got a little presentation. It's very small. I'm going to share a couple of photos with you. I'm going to share a few things and uh, yeah, some words and phrases that you can learn. So many people are joining here on Christmas day. This is fantastic. Saxter says good quality. Good, I can go live in Florida. Yeah, to give you some context, let me show you around a little. I don't know if this worked yesterday, but over here we have the sun lounges and the barbecue. Over there is the pool, as you can see. And I am currently outside. It's so hot. It's about 30 degrees. It's getting humid now. And let's get into this. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'll keep my eye on the comment section as well. This is a live English lesson. This is so much fun for me. Everyone loves these lessons too. Let's start with an Instagram post. Take a look at this. It's on your screen now. This is a picture of, well, I'll read the caption to you. Are you ready? The house next door to where we're staying have gone all out with their Christmas lights. The house, the house next door to where we're staying have gone all out with their Christmas lights. Okay. Um, this is a picture of their Christmas decoration, the Christmas lights. Pretty incredible. Now, to go all out, to go all out with something means to put all your energy, all your effort to really dedicate yourself to this. So it just means they've really made a big effort. And that's the house next door to where we're staying. Let's bring up the comment section again. The sound of video is perfect. Thank you, Humberto. Bali quality is good. If yours is frozen, it might be your internet connection. Ilkin says, you shared that post on Facebook too. I did. I did as well. Such a pretty place. Merry Christmas, Jack. 
Maxim says, it's the first time I hear you online. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, just click that dis that subscribe button. Saxter, where does he live? 30 degrees too hot. I live in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm originally from Preston, Lancashire, England, but now I live in North Carolina. But we're spending the holidays here in Florida. So hot, but it's great. Let's take a look at another picture. Look at this. It's on your screen now. So yesterday, my parents and I went to Naples. And Naples is a place south of where we're staying, about 20 minutes away. So we went down the pier and we saw dolphins. It was really incredible. And I managed to take this picture of one of the dolphins. It was a beautiful place. It was a little bit too hot to really enjoy it. But we managed to get this picture of this dolphin. So th that was a really good experience to go down the pier, to see lots of seagulls, dolphins. We saw a lot of fish and there were a lot of people out and about too. Let me just go back to my presentation. So yes, today is Christmas Day and this is what we did. We went for a swim on Christmas Day. We went for a swim on Christmas Day. We have never done anything like this before. Every Christmas we have had, we have spent in the UK or in France because my parents now live in France. So as a family, we have never gone somewhere warm before. And this is really different for us. We keep saying it's an alternative Christmas. It's different. It's alternative. So it's an alternative Christmas. And we decided that we wanted to go for a swim on Christmas Day. And what I mean by this is we wanted to go for a swim in the ocean. So we wanted to go for a swim on Christmas Day. But... My dad was unsure about doing it. My dad was unsure about doing it. Now, before I continue the story, if you're here watching live, and if you celebrate Christmas, tell me what you have been doing today. Today, What have you been doing on Christmas Day? If you don't celebrate Christmas, just tell me what you're doing anyway. Just tell me what you're doing today. I'll just bring up the, the comment section. I'm a little hungover, but I'm ready to learn English. Learning English when you're hungover is the best thing to do to cure your hangover, to cure your hangover, to make your hangover go away. Also, water, electrolytes, bananas, those types of things. Coffee as well. Let's have a look. Someone said they're not well today. Sorry about that. I hope you feel better. Ilkan, yep, yeah, usually Christmas time, you usually spend time with family at home. Saxter loves France. Schwab is from India. I like your videos. Do it as often as you can. Keep doing it more and more longer. Yes, more often and more longer. I'll try. I'll try and do as many videos as I can. I try to do a video every day. What accent do you have? It's a little bit of a mix between... British, English, and a neutral, well, it's like a Northern English accent, but a neutral British accent as well. So I'm watching House of Cards. Jay from West Virginia is here. Visited my relatives. You can read these comments over here. Spent time with my family, hung out with friends. My mum made a Christmas meal. Very good. Yeah, my dad is going to barbecue in about two hours or so. He's going to barbecue soon. Let's just go back to the story because we, well, actually, let me tell you how we got to the beach. The beach is about three miles away, four miles away, and we don't have enough space in the car for everyone because we are here with, well, there's my wife, myself, my mum, my dad, my sister, my son, and my daughter. So we don't have enough room in the car for everyone. Therefore, my sister and I rode bikes to the beach and everyone else went in the car 
So we got to the beach this morning about 10.30 and we wanted to go for a swim, but my dad was unsure about doing it. This means he, he wasn't, he didn't want to do it. He was hesitant to do it as well. You can say that he was hesitant to do it. But we said the following, you can do it. So look at that top sentence, you can do it. It's a very common sentence to use, a common phrase, when you were trying to convince someone that it's possible, that it's possible for that person to do something. In this case, I said to my dad, it's possible to swim in the ocean. You can do it. It's easy. And then we started to say things that were a little stronger. You have to do it. You have to do it. Because to say that you swam in the ocean on Christmas Day is pretty special. So we said, you have to do it. We're here. This is your only opportunity to do this. You have to do it. And then finally, we got even stronger and said, you can't go back without doing it. You can't go back without doing it. You can't leave without doing it. To go back, to leave. You can't go back without doing it. So... After 10 minutes or so of us talking, of us trying to convince him to do it, he went into the ocean. He took some deep breaths because it was quite cold. It's actually really nice, but at first it's cold. So he took some deep breaths and then he went for a quick swim. So he managed to go for a swim on Christmas Day, which was great. And he's really proud of it now. Um, let's go back to this, to the comment section. Jack, I'm watching your lesson today. I've been learning English. Fantastic. We've got Shireen from Kurdistan. Harry is here as well. Um, Saxter from Kurdistan, who lives in England, I think. Um, Greetings from Kurdistan. More from Kurdistan. Fantastic. Gustavo from Argentina. Um, herramientas? I don't know what that is. What about grammar lessons? You do learn grammar in context that's how I like to teach it for example if you look at this you're learning grammar through sentences you have to do it to do you can't go back without doing it sentence structure prepositions etc so I like to teach it in context Hannah says how how's your vacation it is going so well so far thank you now, before we went to the beach, this is what happened, okay? And my son is called Thomas. Thomas wanted to open his presents as soon as he woke up. Now, what we're doing here is we're using as soon as, immediately after doing something. And we can use this in lots of different ways in different tenses. But in this case, notice we're using it in the past tense. Thomas wanted to open his presents as soon as he woke up. Thomas wanted to open his presents as soon as he woke up. This is the first Christmas that my son understands what's going on. He understands that people get presents for Christmas. He knows who Santa is. He knows all these things now. So he was really excited about opening his presents this morning and he wanted to open his presents as soon as he woke up. So we had a few small presents for him. He opened his presents. However, we haven't opened our presents yet. Present perfect. We haven't opened our presents yet and we're using yet at the end. And this suggests that it's going to happen in the near future. We haven't opened our presents yet. Now, this year we decided to do a secret Santa, and I think I talked about this in a different lesson, but this is when everyone gets one person. So I have someone who I buy presents for, and it means that we don't have to buy presents for everyone, and it's a fun way of doing things. So this is called secret Santa. Secret Santa. And just to repeat this sentence, 
we haven't opened our presents yet. I'm going to check out the comments. Gustavo is in the pool. Very cool. Vitea, I can't swim. We've got Tari here from Iran. Um, can you please choose a topic for each lesson? Yeah, I, I feel like I do that already. Hana, your son is so cute. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Um, did s Let's have a look. <laughs> we did Secret Santa in my office, Wells Fargo, India. Very cool. Very cool. What? You haven't opened it yet? No, we haven't opened our presents yet. We're going to do it soon, I think. This is what my mum always likes to do. She likes to wait for as long as possible. And now, talking about waiting, I've got another sentence for you, which I think you'll see it's really useful. And I made a mistake. Let me correct that. There we go. We left our Christmas shopping until the last minute. We left our Christmas shopping until the last minute. So to leave something to the last minute means that you do it at the last possible moment. And I've talked about this before, about doing things at the last minute, leaving things until the last minute. And this is what we all do with most things. Homework, we leave it until the last minute. Paying the bills, we leave it until the last minute. But this, I, I chose this sentence too because it can, it can mean two things in a way. We left our Christmas shopping until the last minute. This might mean presents, Christmas shopping, or it might mean food. And in this case, I'm talking about food. Because yesterday, as I said, I took my parents to Naples. We went on the pier. We went to a bar. We went to the botanical gardens, although we didn't enter because it was too expensive. But we went to the botanical gardens. And we decided to get the shopping, the Christmas shopping, the food shopping on the way home. And we got to the supermarket, I think at 4.30 p.m. And we saw what time they were open until, and they were open until 6 p.m. So we left it until the last minute. A lot of people, when it comes to Christmas food, they like to get it early. They like to make sure that they get it with some good time to spare. So I remember my parents, they used to get the turkey three, four days before. They used to get all the Christmas shopping, the food, really early. But this time we left it until the last minute. And it was fun doing it that way too. Let's go to the comment section. Um, Saxter, can you read this message here, everyone? I open my presents as soon as I wake up. I haven't seen my presents yet. Santa is late, says Kiao. Or I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry about that. Um... I'm going to Sri Lanka next month. Very cool. Merry Christmas, everyone. Sevgi is here. Enjoy this day, everyone. I love your videos. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I'm so happy that you're here with us. Uh, Hana says, is Florida's weather good enough to go out with your children? Great question. Yeah, it is. It is 30 degrees Celsius. I think about 80... 88 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really hot right now. In the morning, it's cool, but at, it's quarter past two now, and right now, it is really hot. I am sweating sitting here. So it is, yeah, really hot. It's great to go out with the kids in the morning and then take it easy in the afternoon. And we might take a little dip in the pool later as well. Bring up the comments. Uh, Florida seems very hot. It is, especially right now. Christina, up here, I just finished my Christmas lunch. Very cool. Um, Christmas meal is, is hard for... Yeah, it's hard to digest Christmas meal. Usually what happens when people have their Christmas meal, in our family anyway, my dad will have a nap. My mum will probably have a nap. And my sister and I... We usually watch TV. And this is when everyone feels really lazy because 
Christmas dinner is usually very filling. Now, if a meal is filling, it means that it makes you really full. Okay? I can say, for example, that, um, what is it that I have that's really filling? I always talk about this to Kate. I can't remember. But let's just say toast is filling. If you have five slices of toast, you're full. And Christmas dinner is really filling with usually with the turkey, the potatoes and, you know, everything else that you eat. This year we're going to have lamb, potatoes and salad because it's so hot. We feel a salad is perfect for this weather. Let's go back to the comment section. In our country, we don't celebrate Christmas. We just have New Year. Let me know where you're from. Um, Saxter says, how can it be so hot in winter? We're really south. It's really south down here. Gustavo, I'm here with family too. Um, Dima says, in such oppressive heat, you should drink a glass of cold beer. Great phrase. Great idea. Oppressive heat means when it's it's so hot that you feel uncomfortable. And what Dima is saying is when that happens, you should have a beer. I'm going to wait until later. Hussein says, you gave us good lessons. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Hoshiochi is here. I'm from Brazil. I really like your channel. Congratulations. On that note, I'm going to end this lesson here. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't have my book yet, go to tofluency.com slash book. I'm going to put it in the comment section for those watching live and in the description if you are watching the replay. If you are new here and you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Just click that button and also click the little bell and that means you'll get notified when I go live and when I upload new lessons. And then if you're feeling very generous, if you're feeling in the, the spirit of Christmas, then please share this lesson with your friends. Just click that share button, share it on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on Twitter, what you use most. Okay, everybody, I've really enjoyed this. Merry Christmas. I'll be doing more lessons over the next few days. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.